Hello, welcome to Ekidel. We are a trained future civil and structural engineer. My name is Justice Umoka. I am your instructor. Today, I will be showing you the structural framing of this 15 story building. Okay. So right now, I hope you first of all, before we start, I hope you guys had a lovely week and uh, and I hope the, this month of May is also a good month for you guys. OK, so looking at this right now, you will see that this is a 15 story building, as you can see that having special features, as you can see that on this particular floor, it has a special features for like a garden and all that. So first of all, I will walk you through this um, this this um, 15 story building and then I want to show you the full structural framing because we are about to begin this structural design. This is a live project. So that's just to bring to your notice. It's a live project. So right now, as you can see, this um, is the south um, view and then the total height of this building is 59.5 meters, as you can see that. And this is at the top of the of of the roof, but the major floor is fifty six point um eight meters as you can see that okay and also for this roof um area is being used um as a bar, so as you can see that it's used as a sit out or as a bar okay, so let me just walk you this is the next section right now this is the east elevation. And you can see how the section looks like. Basically, um, it doesn't have a it doesn't have a car park on the on the slab, but this is just the normal ground floor. So um, this is not a, this is not um, a like a design for a car park slab. So this is just a normal um, floor. Okay. So right now, I will now walk you through. And also, there is no basement on this building. So because if there was a basement, you would have seen this place not plus but what minus. But minus but since there's no basement or since it's plus that means that there's no basement on this on this 15 story building okay so right now again i walk you through this place again although basically when, when we begin to show you the the um the the um, column positioning and then you will see that okay so right now on this 10th floor this 10th floor right here has like a double volume which has that um small um green you can see that green roof um um green roof green roof, green roof system as you can see that and then this building also have some special cantilevers uh, and all that then let me now walk you through the um through the 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 plant okay so right now on this place this is what this is the ground floor plan and you can see we have already positioned all our column points as you can see that now if you look at the distance of our columns um, let me just on my oh snap and then you will see that our distance is 66 meters. And also, just just recall that I've told you guys in this channel that you should make your column distance to be at least not more than six meters for since since you're a beginner in the software. But for like for someone that already have experience a lot, you can go all the way down to nine meters, ten meters as your column um spacing. As you can see on this other direction, and from year to year. We did a column spacing of eight meters as you can see that so when you have experience a lot on your on 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 the design then you cannot begin to span your columns up to um let me say or span your beams up to nine point something meters ten point something meters regarding as long as it is concrete building okay so right now also on this building you can see that there is a lift here which is a shell wall here which i will also show you how to how to perform a share wall detailing which if you like a share wall reinforcing detailing which if you see on this area here you can see that this is like yeah this is a share wall detailing as you can see it here this is a share wall detailing for a lift wall as you can see this one here so back to where you're doing right now okay so 
you can see that there is a share wall and there is a lift here which which uh, basically is just one lift to control this um 15 story building okay and this is the ground floor which takes care of the car park and also the entrance to the building now on the first floor now now begins um this is now the services for for this room as you can see although our major um um, aspect here is to design for this and also you can see that there is a cantilever slab here and which is around um, from here to here from this face of the beam to this place this is 2.5 meters cantilever as you can see it on this model here yeah yeah so, so these are the cantilevers around the around the face of this place although this cantilever is not everywhere around the building is just on this face and then on this face here so we so we also consider that in our structural design which i'll be showing you and then again we'll go again to the second floor as you can see also on this place i think they have typical typical features i know that that's why you see our columns are just the same the um um the plan looks simple but what you have to consider is to is to um is to perform a design that will be able to carry this 15 story building okay so right now again let me now walk you through to the roof to, to the 10th floor now on the 10th floor now which is as you can see the 10th floor here the 10th floor here has a small portion which is used for um, a sit out or for a garden as you can see there this is like a sit out yes now if you look at the elevation here on the 10th floor you will also see this is the 10th floor here because if you count now from this place um this is the ground floor so this is one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so on the 10th floor now you can see that there, 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 there are features here and this are physical tree this is live tree this is not just uh let me say a rubber tree or let me say an artificial tree this is a live tree so you must have to design this area to be able to carry the to be able to carry the load of this tree and also by um, use a good concrete grade to be able to withstand the soil here that will be able to carry this um these um trees and and sorry these um flowers and this one also so this place here this particular region for this 10th floor this 10th story here will be a special design which i will show you how to do that too also on the roof here on the roof here we also have a green roof system which you can see on the plan view here here on the plan view here Okay, yeah, not here. So this particular portion right now is used for a green um is is used for a green system as you can see that which have grasses and also have trees and I was um have flowers, not trees, but flowers actually. So I also show you how to do that on this particular place here. Okay, now as you can see, we have already done our column positioning. So the reason why we didn't do video on column positioning was because we have done a lot of videos on column positioning. So I would say that you should watch most of our videos on how to position your 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 column, and then you will be able to know that. And if you check the size of the column that we use, we use typically a square um column, and as you can see that the column size is six hundred by six hundred so let me just see to that this is the column size so you can see that we use a column size and this is just the initial column size that that we assumed because you cannot assume a column size of two to five by two to five or a smaller column size so whenever you are designing for a high-rise building you should first of all consider you choosing a bigger column size that is what should come to your mind first and also if you look also around the lift area we used um columns around the lift areas now most of you ask a question why should i use a column around the lift area knowing that this is a share wall and this is also a reinforced um, um wall now i will tell you that on on when we begin for for the for the full design stage but you should know that there is still some criteria where you have to introduce a column inside the share wall I'll tell you that during 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 the design stage of, of this building. Okay, and also we have a small cantilever here on this front area, um, although which is not that long from the grid line to the face of this place. That gives me less than two meters. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so right now you cannot see that this is now a project that we have to work on, and this is a hotel building, which I will also show you how to apply that. Now, if you look at um 
now this building will have different loads it yes this building is a this building is a this building is a hotel building but it will have different loads as you can see that on the second floor there is a gym here so you will not have to use a weight of three point something limiting life load for a hotel for this area of your gym so this place here will carry a different loading system so which i also show you that also now on this area here you will see okay now i will, I will just tell i'll just walk you through all this later on the design to a stage so which we begin next week which is the second week of um, may 2023 okay so right now um I, I, this is just to bring to your notice for what we have and this is us this is um the site plan that's why i say this is a life project which we are working on and we got and also this building location is not in nigeria and it's not in africa but it is so i will show you also how to design that based on wind load and also earthquake but uh, i'll show you how to design against epic also on this um 15 story building okay so right now thank you so much and god bless you and then i will um, then watch out for the design of this building and this also has a cantilever um staircase which i also show you how to design that also okay so thank you so much and god bless you and if you have any question i will say that you should draw your question down below now before you go i will say that please click on the like button and like this video and um, also if you have not uh, subscribed to our channel i will say you should click on the subscribe button so you so that so that so that you don't miss amazing videos about um um, about um design of structural element and also your you now um you now clicking on the like button and also subscribing helps a lot on, on our on our youtube um on our youtube uh, algorithm okay so thank you so much and god bless you and then goodbye and take care bye